Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the title below, the day is finally here. It is finally time to show you guys my DIY bird cage that I have been telling you guys is almost ready for like over a month now. This cage has taken such an incredibly long time to get completely finished, but it is finally finished and I am so excited to show it to you guys today. I know you guys have been dying to see it and the reason that it has taken so long is because every time we thought we were done, we would think of something else that we forgot to do or something else that we wanted to change to make it a little bit better. We literally put the finishing touches on it yesterday, so I am so excited that it is finally time to show it to you guys. Before I show you guys the cage, I do want to cover some things that I've seen you guys asking me about it in the comments. So I want to address some of the questions that I've been getting about my bird cage before I show it to you guys so that you guys know what's up and you know what my thought process was whenever we built the cage and why I designed it the way that I did and how everything kind of works together. This cage is going to be very different than any bird cage you guys have ever seen so expect it to be very different. Also of course no I do not have a bird other than my ghost bird of course. However it is a journey and I am in no hurry. I want to make sure that everything is perfect. I've been buying tons of toys and finishing the cage. I feel like I've been nesting, haha, <laughs> get it, in preparation for getting a bird. So it's definitely been a very lengthy but fun process and I am so happy that we are almost done. Okay, so before I show you guys the cage, I wanna answer a few quick things and details about the cage before I show it. Obviously this cage is not your typical wired bird cage, so I do wanna cover any questions that you guys may have about the specifics of it. So the minimum size cage for a green cheek conure or any type of a conure is typically a 24 by 24 by 24 which is essentially a two foot by two foot cage my DIY bird cage measures in at 30 by 21 by 36 so it is 30 inches wide 21 inches deep and 36 inches tall it has 36 inches tall of living space and 30 inches wide of living space However, with the legs, the entire cage itself comes in, I think, at right around four feet tall. It's a very big cage. I'll stand beside it so that you guys can see. But rest assured, it is far over the minimum for any type of a conure. My cage is also made out of wood and plexiglass. So my bird cage is entirely wood and plexiglass. It is made out of non-pressure treated pine wood, which is safe for birds. But I had to make sure it was non-pressure treated because obviously pressure treated is with chemicals and that would be unsafe. Also, it is plexiglass, which is just basically a plastic, which is also non-toxic to birds. One thing I want to note is that while birds are very messy, and so because the wood on the inside is non-pressure treated, obviously the bird is going to poop on it and it's going to get stained with food and berry juice and things like that. But it's okay if the inside of the cage gets dirty. It's not a problem because we built this thing completely custom. Everything on this cage is replaceable. So if I had to take out an entire wall and then rebuild the wall in, we could do that. All the plexiglass glass is just screwed in with stainless steel screws so all of the metal that is on the inside and outside of this cage is all stainless steel which is perfectly safe for birds as well so I don't have to worry about any of that either the outside of my cage is painted however it is painted with a non-toxic paint so it is non-toxic it has no fumes or anything like that in the paint itself however the paint is only on the outside where the bird will not have access to there is no paint on the inside of the cage whatsoever I also do not have a play top on the top of my bird cage so my bird will not be playing on top of the painted top of the cage or anything like that unless I were to build some kind of a custom plate top but I'm not really thinking about doing that so at this moment my bird will only be exposed to the inside of the cage and the last thing that I wanted to cover is ventilation my number one goal with my bird cage was to make sure that if I had a bird in there it would be completely safe from all of my cats and all my other animals obviously a wire cage would never work for me because my cats can obviously reach their paws through and they can hurt a bird and that's horrible so my number one goal with this cage was to make sure that my bird would be safe with that comes the plexiglass glass walls which you guys are going to see however there is plenty of ventilation my bird will have plenty of airflow obviously not as much as a wire cage where the plexiglass meets the wood there is a slit that I can fit my fingers through so you guys don't have to worry about that also we did drill special sets of air holes all the way down both sides of the cage so there is plenty of airflow and ventilation for the bird to breathe I think that is all of the specifics of the bird cage itself so I'm almost ready to show it to you guys I do want to say a special thank you to Patrick my husband he worked so incredibly incredibly hard on this cage. He made this cage from 100% scraps off nothing but a dream that I told him and a rough sketch on a piece of paper. He made sure that this cage was way above the minimum. He worked with me every time he
he would come home with a bag of screws and I would be like, no, those have to be stainless steel or hey, that has to be longer or shorter. He was so patient and he worked with me so closely to make sure that this cage was perfect and safe for a bird. So I really wanna say thank you to my husband. This cage is everything that I wanted it to be. He is so wonderful. He was so patient and amazing throughout this entire thing. And so I am eternally grateful for this cage that he built for me. It's amazing and I'm really, really proud of it. Okay, so I feel like I covered everything. I put a lot of work into this cage. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. So without further ado, here is my new cat proof DIY bird cage. Okay guys, here is my bird cage. It is finally finished. I'm so excited to show you guys today. So this is the front of the cage and what it looks like. Obviously it's all wood and plexiglass. I guess the first thing that I'll show you is the front of the cage. As you can see, we decided not to drill any holes in the front of the cage because this is not a front opening cage. It does have a door on the side, which I'll show you guys. Also, as you can see, this is the magnetic food tray with a piece of pine wood with two stainless steel bowls in it. I will show you that one whenever we look inside. Here's what it looks like looking in the front of it. You can kind of see the top up there and what everything looks like. All of the screws and any of the metal that's in there is all stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about that. Down here at the bottom of the cage is actually the trap for the newspaper for the bird. It's basically a drawer that he made that pulls out just like so. It has a lip here, so I can put my newspaper down here and it'll catch any food scraps or pellets or anything like that. I really, really love this. It does come all the way out, so that's pretty nice. And then it just slides in. Over here is the side of the cage. As you guys can see, we have three holes drilled all the way across. Now, I don't remember the exact size of these holes, but I do know that they are the size that the perches can all fit through. So all of the toys and perches that I bought can fit in these holes, so that's perfect. As you guys can see, here's the slit I was talking about that I can fit my fingers in for ventilation for the bird. And as you can see, there are holes drilled all the way down the wall for added ventilation. They're kind of hard to see, but they're all in there. Here is the side of the cage with the door. As you can see, we have a latch here that just opens. Then the door swings open like so. The door is also plexiglass, and then it has stainless steel screws, and then it has holes drilled all in the door for ventilation as well. Here is the inside of the bird cage looking through the door. The entire back wall of my bird cage is a corrugated plastic. I really wanted this wall to be a plastic corrugated so that we could take it out and put it in and change things around, and it would just be a lot easier to work with than wood. Also, the perches are pretty heavy, and they are extremely sturdy, as you can see, and it's also safe. Here is what the inside top of the bird cage looks like. I'm sorry, this is kind of a funny angle. These are basically little hook brackets. They're stainless steel. We just drilled them into the pine wood. These are gonna be for the toys to hang off of, so I can hang toys on here, and they will hang down, and she can play with them while she's on the rope perch. I kind of offset them so that I can interchange toys out and move them around so the bird doesn't get bored. There are also two more brackets back there on the far wall, so I can hang toys down, so I can put some perches on that wall over there, and they can and hang there and play with the toys and stuff. The bottom of the cage is actually a plastic grate that my husband got at Home Depot. He cut it to the size of the cage and it basically just slides in and out really easily. It's pretty heavy so the bird can't lift it up, but it does come out really easily so I can take it outside and spray it off to clean it or anything. But the holes are big enough so that the bird's feet won't get caught in there, anything like that. So I really, really love this grate. I'm glad that we were able to find that. It worked perfect for the bottom of the cage. As you can see, this is the magnetic food ledge that I showed you guys with the two stainless steel bowls in it. And then whenever you close the door back, you just latch it closed and it is completely secure so we don't have to worry about the bird getting out or anything like that. Even though we decided not to drill any holes in the front, you can see the holes that are all in the side really good from this angle as well as all the holes that are in the door. So there's plenty of ventilation. You can see there is another slit up here for additional ventilation at the top of the plexiglass. Yeah guys, I think that's pretty much it. Obviously I don't have any toys or perches in there right now other than the two rope perches, but I will be setting this up very soon. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know. But that is pretty much my DIY bird cage. I love it so much and I'm so happy that it's finally done. 
Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the DIY birdcage tour. I hope that it was everything that you guys expected and more. I know that I love it more than anything. I hope that you guys love my new cage as much as I do. I know that Patrick and I put a lot of work into it, him way more than me, and I cannot wait to get a bird one day to go in it. <laughs> Obviously the cage is not fully set up. All of the toys are not inside. If you guys would like to see me set up this bird cage and see where I wanna put all the toys and everything, Feel free to let me know in the comments down below and I would be happy to film that video for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe down below. If you guys would like to follow me on any of my social medias, Instagram or Snapchat, I'll put that on the screen for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Be kind. Bye.